The Z-board is an electric skateboard that you control with your feet. You push down on a pad on the front of the board to go forward and push down on a pad in the back to brake. And this battery allows the blue version to go up to 16 miles on a single charge. The pearl version goes up to 24 miles on a single charge. I'm here with Ben Foreman, the co-founder of Z-Boards. So tell us about how you decided to make this second version and what's changed since the, the first version of the Z-Board. Z-Board 2, it's a reaction to all the feedback we've gotten from Z-Board 1. So we launched Z-Board 1 on Kickstarter back in 2012, sold several thousand of them, listened to what people wanted. People wanted big wheels, long range, and lighter weight. So we've increased the top speed up to 20 miles per hour. We kept big 90 and 97 millimeter wheels, switched from rubber to urethane, and we've kept a long range. So we have a 16 mile version and the 24 mile version you mentioned. The handle makes it really convenient to carry actually, and the 16 pound weight is uh, it's just not that bad to really carry a decent distance. It makes it really nice for like a last mile vehicle, say taking a train to work and then riding that last mile. What I'm really interested in is the distance though, because a lot of, of other electric skateboards just don't go nearly as far. So how are you able to get so much battery life on it? It's really the result of a large battery. Uh, in talking to our customers, we told them, what do you want most? Low weight, high speed, or long range? And of course they said, we want all of them. But when we really nailed it down, they were willing to let go of having the lowest weight on the market if it returned longer range. So we might have 10% more weight than some of the electric skateboards out there, but the result is double, triple, or even four times the range. So we really wanted to optimize for riding rather than carrying. And so how do you charge the thing? So it's got a charge port in the back here. Uh, comes with a quick charger. Basically our blue model recharges in 90 minutes. And then our pearl model with the larger battery, larger range, range charges in two and a half hours. Cool, let's take it out for a spin. Like any electric skateboard, it's fun to ride the Z-board just because you don't have to push. It's a little bit unsteady because when you go forward, you are pushing on the forward pad, which really means that your weight is going backwards and vice versa. When you break, your weight naturally shifts forward and you have to lean back and that gives you kind of an unstable feeling. Sometimes it's a little sketchy to be moving your feet around while you're also trying to turn or navigate. Still, the battery life on it is really remarkable. You're going to sacrifice some torque. You can't go up the steepest hills like you can on some other electric skateboards, but you also probably won't run out of energy while you're still in your own neighborhood. I think it's a, a fun ride if you're going really straight and you're looking for an entry-level electric skateboard, but overall, if you really want to be able to get precision control, you probably want one with a, a handheld remote where you're going to be able to control the speed while having both your feet firmly planted in the same place.